one of them went way to the right the other one kind of stayed out where I casted it hope that means that one of them ain't hung up you know you can get hung up here that's an island right across from me the river splits here goes around that island basically uh, I'm just fishing the main channel man we're getting into what is the date I don't know it's uh, between the first and second week of April we're not quite into that heavy pre-spawn spring run yet where the catfish are really moving heavy up the river but they should be moving some it's getting that time so even though it's slap dab in the middle of the day I think it's like 2 30 in the afternoon I basically hit the main channel deep water too basically I just threw the bait right out there on their highway man and they're gonna come by and find it that's the plan anyway because they should be moving this time of year now there are some flatheads in the neighborhood so one of those isn't impossible it's just a lazy Sunday man I ain't made a video all weekend been sidetracked skipjacks have been tough to catch I figured I'd fish somewhere close to home this is just right down the road downtown Knoxville while I'm here I'm gonna throw my foley spoon skips have been tough but you never know so I'm gonna throw while I'm here messing around I told you there were some flatheads out here. That's a beautiful flathead right there. I wasn't here two minutes. It's a picture fish. I'm gonna get a picture for all the haters. 
and one for all the fans. We're gonna get this bad boy back in the water. Oh. Hang on a second. Oh. Big flathead. Oh. Woo. Look at that, people. Beautiful fish. And get a quick pick. All right, people. I got a quick pick. Now I'm going to do a Facebook Live video release real quick. I'm going to do the release on this fish. Well, there it is, people. That's probably, you see what them teeth do to you. It's probably one of the easiest flatheads I ever caught. Uh, I have caught them easier than that, but it's pretty quick. I had the camera rolling probably four minutes. That fish hit probably two minutes after it hit. Like I say, there is flatheads here. It's one reason I came. Anyway, just a lazy Sunday. Didn't want to put a lot into it. Fish close to the house, man, limited on bait. I had a couple tiny skipjacks and a, a, a large gizzard shad. I ended up tearing my $150 net over that large gizzard shad. That's kind of why I ain't fished all weekend. I just couldn't get skipjacks Friday night. Took me all day to get just a couple Saturday. I said, okay, I'm gonna throw my net. Got a, some little thread fins, one big gizzard shad, and just ripped my net beyond repair, man. 150 bucks down the tube, so. I was pretty upset over that. Like I say, man, fish are on the move. Water's warming. I could easily get a striper here because they're starting to run up river. I could easily get a blue cat here because they're starting to run up river. There is structure for flatheads here. So they're here. Uh, water's starting to warm up in April. They're getting active. Y'all been seeing me getting quite a few flatheads here this year and some nice ones. So. Six miles, people. The uh, one bait washed hard to the right. That's because it's in the channel. I hit the channel. Uh, the one that I caught that flathead on, I literally put it on the shore of that island over there. Out of the current, and that's why it really wasn't washing down as bad. So, it is what it is. Oh, what was that? Like I say, it's that transition period. I could get a, a striper on the move here. They start running up this river, usually around April heavy. Blue cats are starting to run. Their heaviest run up this river will be towards the end of April into May. And the flatheads are on the move, man, just because this water's warming up and they simply live around here, so. I'll take that fish. The only people who won't be able to appreciate that fish will be the few haters. And I'm making these videos for them too. I like entertaining everybody. I got a bluegill dying on me. He's getting this funky looking color to him in my live well. I'm just going to hook him on in the back and not pitch him out so far that he gets caught up in the current. Just, you know, another possibility out there.
There's one of them old blue cats traveling up the river. Hard to believe that blue cat made all that clicker sound, but he did. Looks like it's got some eggs in it. I got some storm clouds moving in on me. I was talking to someone there, it's pouring in my hometown, thunder and lightning. It's supposed to hit here. That was on the gizzard shad head. So the old gizzard shad did get me a fish. It wasn't no big fish, but it was a fish. I'll go ahead and thaw it for a second. I gotta watch this weather because it'll drown my camera here. We'll stick it out as long as we can. Yeah, here it comes, people. It's not even a mile from me fixing to hit, so I don't want my camera wet. Still two or three hours before dark, but it is what it is, man. Lazy Sunday. I got out, got a decent flathead, pulled a little blue cat out of here real quick, and uh, spring is just about started. Like I say, here in another couple of weeks, these blues will be moving heavy up the channel, and you'll just be able to get one after the other. It's a real active time. But, got a good fish today. Thanks for the fans. Thanks for the haters. Probably about the fastest flathead. One of the fastest flatheads I ever caught. I'll take it, man. This is a video. There was a fish in the video. And I caught it without my green jacket. This is Catfish Dave, signing out.